If you're a queen, a king, put your hands up. If you're a queen, a king, put your hands up. Because your girl is back, back, back with another video. So I'm back with another video. And I'm finally back with an updated brow tutorial. Okay, so I'm about to show y'all how I do my brows. Finally, about time. And I talk a lot during this video. But, okay, I'm just ready for y'all to just go on this journey of growth, of healing. And if you guys have any tips let me know okay let me know but yeah so i hope you guys enjoy my brow tutorial don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe i love y'all bye so this is my brows this is what we gonna start with okay my brows they look crazy they're literally all over the place i'm trying to grow them out so it's so hard trying to grow your brows out because like I'm the type of person that's always trying to clean it up. Like I don't like the extra hairs there, extra the hairs there, unibrows. Like as soon as I see one little hair, I'm ready to clean it up. But that's why these brows are uneven because I be going ham. I need to chill out, y'all. But let me give y'all a tip because my brows, like even though like this part is full, but this part is on the thinner side because like I said, I need to chill out with the razors but how you a tip to grow your brows castor oil 100 percent castor oil like on amazon i think it's like it might be nine dollars i'll put the link in the description box below but i like been using that for like years and on my lashes like if you like used to rip your lashes off like when you used to take off your false lashes like false lashes you lost your lashes from false lashes castor oil will save your lashes it will save your life it'll grow it so i know i talk too much but i had to add a little tip in there like how to grow your brows i think i seen a comment on one of my videos um a while ago like how to grow your lashes or something like that but your lashes and your brows castor oil okay wait wait to give me a couple of weeks this is gonna be filled back in okay because i recently did this okay i recently did this foolishness but yeah so first things first i'm i'm so happy like to be back i'm feeling myself my, my braids is cute y'all i'm going to jamaica like and i'm gonna vlog it so i'm like y'all i need to get back on my grind because i've been slacking and like i'm just ready to just start this journey with y'all this healing journey this new me because the person i was last year is not the person who i am this year and the person like i'm just a new person and i've been trying to grow and trying to heal and try and be better okay it's not easy y'all i talk too much i need to talk and do my brows okay let's talk and do my brows but i'm gonna be using my product of course the Queen K Hollywood Cosmetics. That's my Instagram. This is how it looks, okay? And the color I'm using is in medium brown. Um, and also the brush, Queen K Hollywood Cosmetics, of course. And then when you purchase a pomade, of course, you get a free brush. So I'm just like I did, just brush up my brows. It's so true, like when you're young, you constantly changing it's just crazy like how things could change like wait that snap wasn't good hold on hold on that snap was terrible y'all know how to snap man i don't know if i know how to snap because this is not a loud snap maybe because i got cocoa butter on my hand couldn't come on here with dry hands but so yeah so let's dip into my pomade so like i said i brush up let me go this way so y'all can see. And I make a lot, I start with underneath the brow. So what I do is I, since my brows is full here, I kind of like to just keep the shape of my brows. I don't like to overdraw. Sometimes I do overdraw my brows, but I try not to. But we're going to try not to overdraw our brows. We're going to try and just keep it. The shape that it is so i start with underneath my brows and i like i said you just draw a line y'all see that So 
easiest step I could say is trace it out first. Trace out your natural brow. And for those who don't have brows, you can still trace it out. Now we just gonna fill it in. Then I'm gonna in the front, I always do upward motions, lines going up. It looks like a natural brow. I use my got to be gel the clear gel and I just brush my brow hairs with it this will keep your brows okay well first let me say this just alone my brow pomade is waterproof and smudge proof but for the hold and the extra hold and for it to like last last this y'all this so i just use my brow brush let me bend it and put don't put too much because then like when it dries it can look very shiny it can look shiny when it dries it's shiny so don't put too much because you don't want it just looks weird you'll know what i'm talking about when you use a lot of got to be on your brows you'll see what i'm talking about just be careful okay be careful it's dangerous So now I'm going to clean my brows with the Dollhouse Cosmetics. Everything will be in the description box below. And I don't remember where this brush is from, but it's just a small angle brush. This is the kind of brush I like to use. It's very skinny and angled so that you can get that arch and you can go, you know, you can cut it, cut it, cut it. So this is the final product. I know y'all see my popcorn in the back. I'm about to eat one right now, okay. Y'all, these, this, these chips do not taste the same anymore, okay? For one, they barely put peanuts. Like they probably put five peanuts. Like what the hell? The peanuts used to be on the popcorn. Now they literally put it at the bottom, five peanuts. They play you, okay? Do y'all notice that? Like the stuff, the way it used to be before, like now they do less, less of everything and they change the ingredients and stuff and did all that extra stuff. Like stop, all right? Y'all need to stop. Leave stuff alone sometimes. But this is how my brows look, okay? They look good, but thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.